Hello everyone, I'm Brionak. Here with me I have Vectas. Hi. And today I'm bringing to you a Nardcore Maps showcase uh, of uh, this uh, uh, peculiar racing game. Uh, before uh, hopping uh, into the run, I would like to explain to you a few of the basic mechanics because this is going to be a showcase uh, of uh, hardcore maps. So we're going to use a lot of advanced techniques to uh, get through the level. So I'm going to hop right into uh, a stunt map, which is called Stunt World uh, 2551. And gonna, I'm not going to start the timer now. Just going to show you a few of the few mechanics. Uh, the car, uh, this is a racing game where you need to go from point A to point B from a, uh, on a map. And uh, our car has a, a few uh, mechanics that I need to explain. First of all, it's a car so it can accelerate and turn, but it also has a rear booster that uh, has a boost reserve that we need to keep an eye on because uh, if we use the rear booster too much, the car will explode like this. So, how, how do we um, avoid the, the car from exploding? We do tricks like this, like a barrel roll, or like a front twist, or a front flip, or anything like that. Um, all these tricks cool down the car, the more the less. Uh, the car also has a few other abilities, you've already noticed them uh, right now, like flight, the car can fly and steer like this, also do barrel rolls during the, during the flight, but also has thrusters that can uh, confine control the car in midair. Uh, like that and to cool down the car there are also other uh, other ways like checkpoints uh, and uh, cooldown rings which are not showing uh, not shown here but basically checkpoints will uh, uh, sign the point in the map and also cool down your car by 100 percent while uh, uh, cooldown rings will only cool it, cool it down by 50 percent that's the main mechanics so i'm gonna go back to the main menu and hop straight into the run uh, the run is uh, made up of eight maps: Grip Ward, Stretcher Wings, Oak Roll Leap, Irolad, Ninja, Sunset Mode, Reaga, Sweet Frog, and Mobra. Uh, I'm gonna go through all of them, and uh, the timer is gonna start when I click on the map. So it's gonna start in three, two, one, go. Good luck. Okay. So the first map is actually a tutorial of advanced mechanics. So. Um, to complete the map, we need to uh, complete these tutorials. This, this first part of the map is called uh, gliding down. So we need to glide down through uh, a cylinder to avoid the obstacles made up of kill grids, which will kill you instantly. Uh, like this with only the thrusters. We don't, we don't have the booster as well, so that it teaches us how to navigate to the, through the section. Now we have also a long jump section, which uh, will uh, uh, stretch our boost reserve uh, to the point where we can't uh, use it anymore, and then we need to uh, use our uh, thrusters to get to the other side of the map. Then we have a grip fly turn. Uh, we, also, we can also use thrusters to uh, basically control the car in mid there like this. Uh, each of these squares I'm pressing through as uh, a cooldown ring, which will cool down our, bo our uh, boost reserve. Then we have another section which is called upwards camera which is basically a, a section with no gravity. This will come handy in the next, uh, in the next uh, tracks, where basically uh, we need to uh, control our car in no gravity uh, while the camera is um, behaving a little bit weird. This because the camera uh, trails the, um, the car's uh, velocity vector. So in order to uh, basically control the car in no gravity, we need to make sure that the camera is always behind us, otherwise we will get a little bit disoriented. So, uh, I already completed the, uh, all, the f all the five sections. This one was basically a long jump but upwards, but upwards, and then we are hopping right into the next map, which is Stretch Your Wings. It's, uh, an, it's a pretty old uh, a uh, map that came out during the early access of this, of this game. And uh, for the time it was a really hard map because uh, it was basically uh, a map that stretched our boost reserve uh, to, the limit, uh, to the limit where we needed to use our wings uh, the best we could, the best we can, in order to reach uh, other parts of the map like this. Like we were already overeating uh, by, by using the 
um, the booster or server like that. And uh, as you can see, the map is basically like um, a sequence of sections where there are kill grids uh, and uh, roads that we need to uh, that we need to cross. Also labyrinths like this one. And as I was saying, for the time it was pretty hard. This section requires us to. Oh god. Okay, this is this is the first hard part of the of the war run. Uh, this section requires us to get through these really tight sections. Uh, really, this really tight section where uh, we need to like we need to squeeze between these two triggers. Also, oh, <laughs> I failed again. This is gonna this is gonna take a few tries. Uh, we need to squeeze a, between these two triggers and also the, and also right here there is like an hidden teleporter. Damn, Sam, why did you find this? Well, I watched a few replays of other players because uh, I I didn't really... I wasn't really playing the game at the time where the, when this map was released. So, <laughs> so yeah, I watched the replays and then I copied their strats. Okay, all right. <laughs> so, uh, we are on uh, this tight section where we need to also stretch our boost to get to this uh, platform here. Uh, Another another tight section with Kilgis. Okay, this section is pretty important because uh, we need to keep our velocity that we built up before getting there to land on this uh, uh, rotating uh, thing that we landed on to land a trick and reach this uh, platform here. This was actually uh, pretty difficult because if I failed that, I would have um, uh, done a backup strategy yeah very that, nice very nice yeah <laughs> a backup strategy that could have uh, taken me some time to uh do the wall section basically so this is awkward leap this is uh, another um, another hard map and uh, as i was saying before on the first map there was a section which is called which was called upward camera basically on that section there was no gravity this is the same here uh, we need to navigate with only our thrusters. We don't have our rear, bo our rear booster here for the time being, at least. And uh, uh, all the walls that you see on the sides are all kill grids, so we don't need to touch them. Also, the columns are kill grids, so we don't need to touch them. Uh, the air resistance is also a little bit uh, uh, augmented, so we can have a little bit of a more uh, easy time uh, uh, navigating through that section. So now we uh, gravity is back to normal. We got our wings though. So this map is focused on uh, um, like stretching our uh, thrusters and wings to get uh, to uh, one platform to another. And it's also based on a few uh, uh, gimmicks that the level presents itself, like these. Uh, um, these zippers here, these um, conveyor belts, which will push us a little bit uh, forward. Uh, the, conveyor, the conveyor belts are... Oh, ouch. That, that hurt. That cost me a little bit of time. But these conveyor belts push us a little bit further. They're made of force zones, which are basically editor objects, uh, which uh, will augment our, our car's velocity in a specific direction. So we need to use our wings to... Uh, redirect the momentum of the zippers uh, uh, to the direction we want. In this case, this checkpoint here. There is another force zone here that will push us uh, up. And uh, here yeah. I am, I am in, a, in a cubic room, and I'll leave the word yeah, to Vectas to explain this. Yeah, in this cubic room, uh, there is a teleporter uh, on top uh, of, the, of the room, and we have to reach it. To do that, uh, we can't jump, so we can just jump and fly into it and yeah the jump is basically disabled right now yeah we have to grind on the wall so that we can use the thrusters okay perfect we can't touch the ceiling because otherwise we would explode we just stop moving and then fly into the teleporter yeah the teleporter is right there you didn't see it because we were on the bottom part of the track okay yeah perfect now the next section is um we have to to jump onto some platforms by using the the wings right here the last this just jump okay perfect that's very risky because the kill grid is very near the um, the platform so we just have to open our wings as fast as possible right uh, here we have to uh, climb a pillar of a boxed of boxes and to do that we use the thrusters and uh, another mechanic about the thrusters is the fact that every time we 
um, touch, uh, we land a trick, like we touch a platform, or we, the wheels touch um, a platform, an object. Um, as you can see, the thrusters go back to the blue color, which gives us a, a, a major boost, boost. Yeah. In, uh, yeah, in, uh, in speed, and we can even reach higher, higher platforms. Yeah, of course, we, here we don't have boost, so climb bec becomes a little bit different. Yeah, the mechanics is the fact that the wheels have a, a magnetic property, and we take advantage of that to, to be able to attach ourselves to the walls easier. And now? Uh, yeah, right we're now we just uh, fly into this uh, platform, and then we'll, there will be an interesting technique called boating. Basically, mm, we'll see a platform uh, with a kill grid, uh, very near to, very close to the platform, we'll be able to grind onto that, pl pl that platform by having the car upside down because uh, being the kill grid so close to the platform, it doesn't touch the heat box of the car when it's upside down. This way we'll uh, just use the booster and use these uh, white lines which are cooldown strips so that we can replenish the booster reserve and proceed. Now we can just, we have just to avoid some kill grids, okay, perfect. And we are almost finished. Oh, what? Uh, <laughs> uh, the wings activated themselves. What? Wow. <laughs> okay, yeah. We, we land on those two platforms, then we land on, on again on that strip, so we get a bit, a little bit more cooldown. And there's a force again, zone and then a jump to the Then there's a force zone that pushes up upwards. We use our wings to redirect our momentum to the end zone, which is right there. Uh, we're gonna stretch our boost a little bit to get here, and basically we finished Very nice. also. Uh, awkward leap. Then we are going to Iro Ad. So, this map uh, requires us to climb vertically uh, in in that column that you see, like uh, down there. The problem is uh, this column is covered by a circular kill grid, which so we can we can't land on the column itself. We need to land on some platforms, but it's not that easy to do. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> wow, that was close. It's not that easy to do because the platforms are around the, the column, so we need to like circle around the column to get to, the, so, to those platforms. But there's not only that, there are also some other obstacles that uh, uh, clutter our space to move. Yeah, some of these obstacles, as you can see, these are the blue. Ah, yeah, well, th those are the, science the giant seesaw fans. Yeah. We have the, um, the kill grids. Um, the red kill grids, which, has, which are uh, parallel to the, um, to the to the pillar, to the column, and they like uh, uh, narrow our possibility of movement around the pillar and of, um, to reach the next uh, vertical roads to proceed. Then there there are as well some um, perpendicular circular kill grids that we have to uh, to move around uh, in the other by going around them yeah and they there are also these giant seesaw fans and they they can be nasty because like if we if we can reach them by following the cycle we can predict their movement but uh, the fact that we have to move around this this column I mean, it's very difficult to maintain to really get this the cycle so we Brio has to improvise and try to yeah, basically, uh, yeah, <laughs> that was a little bit close. Yeah, basically, basically, every time you start to level, the the cycle is always the same. But uh, since like you have to find uh, to fine tune the movements uh, all the time uh, with the car, um, okay, you you can't you can't always get uh, to the um, to the fun to the right cycle. So that so that adds a little bit of. RNG if we, if, we, if, we, if we can call it like that. Yeah, the fans don't, don't kill us instantly because they don't have a kill grid, but they can cut us if they get, uh, if they get us in... Uh, can I get there? I don't know. Yes. Perfect. Slowly. Very oh. nice. Okay, nice. Then, uh, uh, as you saw, Brio used a platform, a ring platform that is placed um, over the, the fence that we can use to like pose a little bit and get the booster get the speed up to, to reach the next platform. Yeah, um, as you can see, like, the fans have this um, ring around them uh, that... Mm, not sure if I can reach that one. Okay, I'm gonna back up a little bit, go down to the ring, so I can talk about it a yeah, little bit. Yeah, these rings are very yeah. useful. 
like this ring is as useful to like back up a little bit and try again to get to a plat to a specific platform if we want to go there. Um, still not sure if I can make it because this one is a bit it's a bit tight to get. Uh, nice. Yes. Okay. Nice. Uh, okay. Yeah. And by the way, these rings are useful as well because. Uh, we don't take uh, all the checkpoints, and there aren't many useful checkpoints, so... If Brio dies, the car explodes, he would have to restart from a... a from from, the, a from the beginning. Yeah. yeah, the point is that I took a checkpoint, uh, like... You, some, of, some of you probably uh, saw that. I took okay. a checkpoint... Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to land a trick here, <laughs> otherwise I will, will probably uh, explode again. Um, Probably some of you uh, uh, saw that, but I took a checkpoint at some point. Uh, but the checkpoints are far from the from the main column, so far from far also from the optimal route. So uh, I took it I took it just as a precaution to restart from an upper point of the map. Uh, but yeah, we reached the, the end zone. Which, uh, by the way, there are two end zones in the level. Uh, they are on the sides of the column. Uh, we need to do a long jump to get there. So now. Ninja. Ninja. This map is uh, like a sequence of challenges that we need to complete uh, that are basically, it is basically uh, um, squeezing through uh, tight kill grids. Most of the checkpoints are like that. And we need to basically squeeze to, uh, between those two kill grids, which are also like uh, platforms at the same time. So in order to get through, we need to not face our wheels, uh, um, like towards the kill grid, uh, be, towards the kill grid itself. Otherwise, we will uh, like get attracted by the kill grid itself and and basically explode. Yeah, this, right uh, this section is a, a bit hard because we, we have to uh, we have to pass uh, into this narrow gap, and then we have to be careful not to, to activate the magnetic property of the wheels the space is very is very small then we have to be careful as well not to uh, trust reset by eating the pla that's that that uh, the cylinder with the wheels otherwise we would get a boost of speed okay okay nice here we go um, we're still on the second checkpoint by the way this map is really long so uh, this is gonna take a while this third checkpoint uh, we need to like get to that third kill grid that is right there but we need first to land a trick there otherwise we can't make it so third checkpoint down we have checkpoint four this one is pretty nasty yeah this uh, checkpoint requires the player requires the brio to, to navigate uh, to pass uh, through this diagonal. Oh, wow, nice. beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> I didn't even have the time to, to talk about it. Yeah, that's very difficult because he has both to be careful about the magnetic properties of the of the wheels, uh, and he has to take that um, that with an angle so that he doesn't touch the kill box uh, um, with the tip of the car. Yeah, the point we we need to we need to uh, be careful of not getting attracted by the uh, by the wheel magnets uh, by the upper uh, kill grid uh, and to not touch the the, low, the lower kill grid by not rising enough. So yeah, that's the hard part about the fourth track one. Oh, I almost made it on the first try there. Oh, that's too bad. Well, I, I made it on the second try, no problem. Okay, this is section nine probably. Uh, no, this section eight. Section, section eight. eight sorry. Uh, normally we wouldn't be able to. Uh, we wouldn't have enough speed or thrusters to to go uh, over that uh, that tall uh, kill grid. But we use this uh, pole, this uh, cylinder, to get a thruster reset so that we get a, a higher boost with uh, with the thrusters. Here we go. Like you can see here, we get the the blue flames. This way we can go even higher. It was, it, it was actually a pretty good thruster reset. Actually. Yeah. Like, usually you just um, barely barely cross that section, but yeah, pretty good. Okay, this next section, we, are, we have again diagonal kill grids, but they are tilted in a way that the, um, the magnetic, uh, the, the, will, the, the will magnetism doesn't uh, give us troubles. Another checkpoint here where we need to pass through these few uh, uh, gaps. Um, another checkpoint where we need to pass through 
diagonal kill grids. I'm still in time to get Grand Lord, actually. Wow. Oh, perfect. Uh, yeah, the map on the end gives you um, a ranking. Uh, if like if you're fast enough, you can get a, um, a ranking for, that goes from S to E, probably. I don't remember correctly. Can I make it? Yes. Wow. Oh no, j not not in time to get Grand Lord. I got Demilord though, which is still S. Demi still an Lord. S rank. <laughs> okay, four minutes and eight seconds for this map is actually pretty good. Then we move up to Riega. Um, you saw um, Irolad before. It was a map developed vertically, basically. This map is similar because we need to climb up vertically, but this time we have two kill grids on the side, which. Uh, Clutter our, our movement space, and we also need to. Not sure if I can make it. Yes. Okay. We need to. We need to land on those platforms here, which are tilted in various ways, and yeah, it can be a little bit troublesome if you don't know where um, what you're doing. Also, there is uh, another thing uh, that. Um, I uh, want Vectors to talk about. Yeah, shit. basically, uh, as you can see, as you have seen, uh, obviously, there are, um, on the sides of the levels, there are mirror copies of the level itself. And uh, usually, we wouldn't be able to see uh, sometimes where uh, we have to go forward the next platform that we, we have to land on because the one we are riding onto sometimes hides the next one. So we can use these mirror copies of the level to maybe adjust ourselves sometimes. It's very I useful it. for a new player trying to learn the map especially. Okay. And that's because Brio has, a, has done a lot of memorizing in this one. As you can see, there's no... It's very hard to know where he has to go. Wait, I didn't hit the checkpoint here. There we go. Okay, <laughs> okay. nice. Um, yeah. So yeah. basically the map is all uh, developed like that. Like we need to land on all these platforms. Uh, wait. Yeah, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Right now we have seen the first car-sized platform. There are some very small platform that allow us just to jump and land the trick to uh, replenish the the booster reserve. They are quite l hard to land onto. And by the way, if you if you notice there, uh, they have um, there's a side on which uh, Brio can land on. And uh, uh, land the trick, and but um, some of the, f the platforms, most of them, I think, have another side. So there's one side that's useful to, to move, and there's one side which has a kill grid. So uh, Brio has to move like the author of the map wants him to, and that's uh, that involves a lot of uh, inverting the, the car, of controlling the camera in the proper way. Okay, so this that's, that's one difficult. is a bit tight. I might not make it. Uh, wow. Okay. Wow, wow, it's wow. not over. It's not over yet. I need to reach that checkpoint. I can skip what one platform. Let's see if I can do it first try. Please. Wow, beautiful. Yes! Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, uh, checkpoints are very important because... Uh, <laughs> okay. Th there's not a lot of them in the in this track, and the track lasts a lot of time, and moving around this track is very difficult. So uh, that's one other difficulty of uh, of this map. Yeah, uh, and this section in particular is also pretty difficult because I need to land four tricks on four uh, car size platforms. So uh, this is gonna be really hard because, as you can see, the camera is not cooperating yeah. at all. Like, uh, oh god, oh, oh, okay. Le uh, where, where am I? Oh, 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 uh, oh. yeah. Okay. There's a thing you didn't mention about the kill grids on the other side of the road, probably. Or did you mention it already, maybe? On on the other, yeah, yeah, I said it. Okay. There are, uh, there are platforms uh, <laughs> which have a, I was, a side I was that busy. is landable and a side that is not landable because there's a kill grid. So sometimes we can use both sides, sometimes we just have to use the one that is landable to, okay. to be able to proceed. One. Yeah, and these uh, car size platforms aren't easy at all because we can't uh, really oh, stop oh, on oh, them. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, oh, you're there, you're there? Okay, yeah, but maybe. I need uh, to make it there. Wait. Yeah. I can still make it. I can still make it. It's not over though because. 
I need to reach this. Okay. Okay, we uh, can't I... really stop on the platform because Here we, we lose speed if we stop. And but many times, usually we need that speed again to uh, to retain the momentum and to go onto the next platforms. Okay. So it's so yeah. here's the final checkpoint of the map. As you can, as you could see, the checkpoints are like very distant from each other. So uh, if we do one mistake, that's gonna cost a lot of, cost us a lot of a lot of time. Uh, nope. Um, but here here we are on the last checkpoint. This one is a bit tricky because it only requires to land on two platforms. Uh, Good stuff. <laughs> okay, um, having a little bit of trouble here, but. Gonna gonna go through it, I promise. Um, okay. No. Nope. Ah. Not not quite. It keeps happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so here, as I said, uh, we need to land only on two platforms. On this section in particular, we gain a little bit of momentum by using only the accelerator and then jumping and then boosting again. Then when we see this platform there, oh, ah. uh, this is gonna take me a little bit I think because uh, I need to rotate the car in um, like correctly during the flight and it really stretches the booster uh, your boost reserve a lot so it's not easy to get properly let's see okay nice uh, oh I timed out the trick okay I think I can still manage to save it though because uh, I can slowly but surely build up a trick Let's see if it pops Is up. Is this a wall or a ceiling? Uh, ceiling right, I think. Okay. But needs some time to build it oh. and to not fall from the platform. Uh, Can't you use it in the other way? No. Uh, wait, 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 wait. This is gonna take a while. Yeah, what happened right here is that a trick timed out and that means that he performed it uh, and then didn't land into time. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think this is a good time to read donations. Fantastic. We have a $50 donation from Pines of Chaos saying, go fast, go fast. Thank you so much for that one. Oof. Okay. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I, I charged a sitting, a sitting ride there, which I, I wasn't honestly planning to do because uh, I usually use a different strategy. Be that was beautiful. That was and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here we are on Sweet Frog. By the way, like all the maps you see uh, up to this moment are not even the hardest ones. Uh, Sweet Frog is uh, one of the hardest, actually. And if you want yeah, to yeah, explain how the level Sweet works, Sweet Frog is a maze of kill grids, basically. And as you can see, one it's it's like a bit like the last track, as in uh, the dispo the the checkpoints are a bit distant between each other, but. We are we have, we have a bit more uh, space to maneuver the car, so mm, that way it's uh, yeah on it's the a sides as you can yeah. see on the sides you have a lot of more space to maneuver. One of the, the car. characteristic of this map is the fact that, uh, as you can see, it's a lot of green. The <laughs> the kill grids are, are transparent. There's no indication of where to go, so it's for a new player. Uh, it's a lot. It takes a lot of time to learn the route. Yeah, uh, consider that to learn this map. Like, I, the first time I finished the map, it took me one hour. One hour, 50 minutes, actually, I think. Uh, can I make it through the year? Mm. Yeah, okay. okay. One of the characteristics, that's the, that's the first checkpoint. One other characteristic of this map is that it, um, it puts to test the ability of using the wings. Uh, we just took a cooldown strip right there, a white cooldown strip, that replenishes 50% of the booster reserve. That way, we can use it more. And as I was saying, this map puts a lot of testing to the, the ability of using the wings, of using the booster reserve as well, and the thrusters. We have to be careful um, uh, of using the wings and the thrusters as not uh, to be able to to have enough booster reserve to proceed onto the next platform. So we can't oh, oh, make oh, oh. mistakes. <sighs> okay. uh, yeah, this section is hell because it's very narrow. We have to use the momentum, right? Perfect. Still not the over checkpoint. because I need to hit the checkpoint. Oh, here we go. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but maybe sometimes you see me like turn my head around just to see where the hell I'm going because <laughs> sometimes <laughs> it's not really clear with the camera like spinning like that. Oh, uh, not enough. 
not that ah, hard. Okay, we just to do a checkpoint. Yeah. Somewhere. Okay, this okay. section is also pretty hard because uh, we need to uh, like um, get inside the section to gain enough um, speed momentum, then exit from the same section and get to another section. Yeah, you will see. You will see in a while. You just make a, basically make a pit stop on this, onto this yeah, platform exactly. <laughs> to replenish the booster and to. Uh, accumulate speed and momentum to be able to proceed on to the next ones. Uh, okay, this is gonna be a little bit hard. Let's see if I can make it first try. Mm. Doesn't doesn't look good, honestly. Uh. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I think it will take me a few tries. This this one is uh, one of the other section of this level. Because of like how tight that sec that checkpoint uh, uh, is, and after that section there is even more. So we need to be careful because the sec the, the checkpoints are like pretty distant from each other. Uh, so yeah, there's also that. Okay, let's do it again. Uh, let's gain a little bit of momentum here. We need to be careful of those cylinders. This seems pretty good, honestly. Let's see. Nice. There we go. Uh, still not done, because this checkpoint is really long. You're, you're gonna see in a while. And if I do one mistake, I have to do that section again. So uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's stay concentrated on this part as well. Oh god, I was, was so close to the kill grid there. Okay, here I need to squeeze through this gap. Uh, you think it's over? It's not over. I need to use this trait to land a trick, go through this gap, then let go of boosts and also thrusters because thrusters. Uh, uh, yeah, thrusters. You, you can explain that one. Yeah. Uh, like uh, we c if you if you use the boosters too much, uh, the car will explode. You overheat and, and explode. But if we let go of boosters, the um, the, uh, the booster reserve will just replenish by itself. But if if you use thrusters, while even if you are not using the boosters, but we use thrusters, the replenishment of the booster reserve will pause for that time when while we use the thrusters. So it's important not to use them and just uh, make the car fall, uh, trying to control it in the air, just to be able to get a little bit more of, a, mm. of that booster Too reserve. Far, probably. Come on, yeah. come on, come on. Too far. Ah. Okay, I have to do this, to do this section again. Uh, uh, yeah, by the way, we did a pit stop again on this platform, which has two white cooldown strips, and every cooldown strip that uh, replenishes 50% of the booster Oops, reserve, sorry. so we get 100% uh, again. Okay, this seems a bit better. I think I gained a little bit more momentum there. Mm, let's see. Yeah, this is enough. Need to slide land sideways. Here we go. Okay. Still not over though, because this, like, these checkpoints in this level are really far away from each other, so. You need to stay concentrated the whole time. Uh, we need to land on this platform as, as well. Hmm. Uh, I might have... Wait. Let's see if I can back this up. It's gonna be difficult, but... Okay. Wow. Wait. It's... <laughs> um, I, didn't, I didn't plan to do this, so... You don't have the enough mm. momentum, maybe? Mm, maybe yeah, maybe yeah, maybe yeah. Like starting from the platform like that, it's gonna take us a little bit more booster, but I think I can make it. Yeah, slowly but surely. Yeah, very land. nice, very okay. nice. Okay, here this is uh, the other pit stop that Vectas was talking about, right. and we need to uh, do a war right there, a war right again. And then we need to pass through these two cylinders again and land on that platform there where there are other uh, cooldown strips. Yeah, we uh, replenish the booster reserve and then we are on to the final checkpoint and the end of the, of the map. Here we go. 
um, the kill grid now will disappear and like why this why is this this map called sweet frog here's a sweet frog sweet frog <laughs> does it look like a like a frog to you i don't like i don't know so we're on the last map of the showcase yeah uh, mobra this one is mobra uh did you think the other maps were hard think again this one is like pretty really really hard yeah this is the hardest map of the showcase and uh, it's like a kill grid prison as you can see the structure of the map is like uh, many boxes uh, attached to together and only certain sites we can traverse uh, because they haven't got the kill grids we can land tricks on the frames of the boxes and yeah. that's okay. not uh, always easy because we had to softly land on them otherwise we would almost clip into the... Um, we, we could clip onto the frames if we, if we go hard on them because... Yeah, just, um, just, to, just to explain this, yeah. like, if you go close to the kill grid, uh, to, the, to the platforms, you can see that the kill grid is very close uh, to, the, to the platform itself. So if we land too hard, the, the car will... Um, will like, clip through the frame yeah. and then explode because it touches the kill yeah, grid. Yeah, exactly. Which is uh, exactly. under the, the so frame. So we need to be... Oh, uh. ouch. Well, uh, not a problem because, um, yeah, we'll get, the, we, we get there uh, again. Don't worry about it. So, um, the map has a few checkpoints through it. And they're a bit distant from, from one another. But as you could see, like, I did this section pretty fast overall. Hmm. Do you have enough boost reserve here? I think so. Yes, okay. Now, okay, nice. we're getting into this tube, and uh, I don't know. Are we having a little bit of uh, uh, did deja you notice, vu? Uh, yeah, did you guys n did you notice anything different? Because there's almost nothing different. <laughs> Basically, <Yeah>. this map <laughs> is divided into four sections. Every section is like a lap of the same map. Yeah, but it's basically it's basically like you need to you need to take four laps through this map. But yeah, there are some well, differences between the there laps. There are some differences, the like difference. that kill grid that you that you saw right there. Yeah, but every lap, uh, the, ma <laughs> the map presents in itself with more kill grids and uh, with uh, narrow, narrower spaces that we can use to okay to to move around the maneuver the car by the way where the kill grid um, where there's a new kill grid there's not a proper uh, rectangular frame but there's a cylinder so we can't use it's it's difficult to use those cylinders as a, as a landing platform we can do that but it's always better to do, to use the frames so at, at this moment, on this uh, second lap, we are not required to use them, but later with my, we have to. So it, it just uh, yeah. another element of difficulty that gets added to this. You're gonna see. Of, uh, you're gonna see later. Map. You're gonna see later. Right now, it's not really like you saw. You see those this cylinder. Yeah, you're gonna see later like what uh, what we can use them as. Uh, right now. Like there are just obstacles that are that clutter the map even more. Uh, we finished lap two of the map. We are going into lap three, and as I was saying before, uh, it's the like the structure of the level is is the same, but the level becomes much more cluttered with uh, obstacles. Also, the level is becoming a little bit more red. Like if this wasn't eerie enough, uh, so. Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, if if there is anything to read right now, it's probably a good moment because uh, this is getting a little bit difficult. Certainly, we have a donation from Ryos of twenty dollars. Hello, Bryonic. I've never completed half of these levels, which is annoying. Still got to figure out how to relearn the game. Haven't played it for a long time. Hope you do well, and I'm rooting for you. And also hoping to see and steal your strats. <laughs> from Ryos, also known as Suris or Wolf in game. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Uh, yeah, hopefully you'll <laughs> you'll learn a, li a little things from here. But yeah, as you can see, the map is becoming a little bit more cluttered. There, is, there is even less space to move, and this um, 
gives us a little bit more problems with the camera. As I was saying before, the camera trails the velocity vector of the car, so... Um, wait, wrong direction. Uh, tra it trails the, the velocity vector of, the car, of your car, so you need to, uh, like, constantly go at a constant speed upwards or in a specific direction to, like, not, uh, not make the camera confuse itself and give you troubles with understanding where you go, where to go. Uh, barrel roll. Barrel roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we mostly want to do front twists as tricks because if we do two of them, we can uh, replenish 100% of the, of the boost reserve. So that's one trick you see a lot in this map. Yeah, sure. especially during these parts because uh, like you have less space to move, the platform become more distant, more distant because uh, of how cluttered the the, uh, the level becomes. So it's important to land strong tricks to uh, like assure us that we can get to the next section. So we are almost at the end of lap three, but we need to be careful because lap three is still not done. So. Otherwise, we need, we will have to restart from the previous checkpoint, and as I said before, the map is becoming more cluttered, so that would be bad. It will cost us probably some time. Okay, pretty good. Okay, very nice, very nice. Pretty good, and into lap four. Lap four. Okay, this one, like on this lap, you'll see why this level is the hardest one of the showcase, because, like. The clutter that you see that you saw before is nothing uh, compared to this one. Uh, like you can see that the, the spaces where you need to pass is, are like way, way tighter now, and it's becoming very difficult to uh, proceed into the, into the level. And on top of that, if you crash, you need to restart from the previous checkpoint. So you need to complete all the section, all the sections uh, like smoothly and uh, without doing any mistakes. This like, the first time this map was completed, uh, it took the, f the first player to complete it, which, was, which is Predatory Balloon, which is also uh, one of the map editors of the, pre of the previous map, uh, Sweet Frog. It took that player 15 hours to complete this map in one session. In one session. Uh, and right now we're already on lap four. <laughs> so, like, we took roughly seven minutes. Obviously, the first time you, you play this map, uh, like, you don't know where to go, because as with Frog, there are no indications to, uh, of where to go precisely. So, obviously, it will take you some time to figure out the route and to figure out uh, how to pass each section. Uh, we were saying before, like, uh, there, like, the map is more cluttered, and uh, some of the platforms that before were, like, uh, f frame surfaces now are cylinders. We need to land on the cylinders to uh, progress into the level. Otherwise, oh wait, okay, this one is a bit hard to land. No, oh, okay. Uh, gonna gonna checkpoints. Yeah, gonna take another okay. try here. Uh, yeah, this section is even harder than before. As I said before, like uh, this section is like. Do you remember Riga where like the kill grids were very really close on the sides? That here you have kill grids on like all the sides, like uh, front, uh, front, behind, and on the on the two sides. So like moving the um, moving the car there without messing up with the camera becomes really hard. Uh. Oh, oh wow, oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Need a bit more, bit, little bit of concentration here because otherwise I'll have to restart from the previous track point again. So let's see. Okay, right here we need to land on that, uh, on this uh, pole again. By the way, the fastest strat doesn't even land on poles. It just like it does land on a few poles, but most of them uh, it skips them, but. Like, not gonna do that here. First, because uh, I'm not like uh, the fastest, the fastest guy on this map. Uh, and second, because uh, it's it's very risky. So 
gonna land carefully on the poles, which is still, which I'm, I'm still doing pretty fast anyway. And okay, now we're going into the last checkpoint, which is really not the last because there is a backup checkpoint here. Uh, I'm gonna let Ve Vecta Six explain here while I go through this checkpoint because uh, if I fail this one, I'm, I'm gonna lose a lot of time, of course. So. Uh, yeah, there's even more clutter here. There's, the spaces are very narrow, it's very difficult to move, but Brio makes it look easy. <laughs> <laughs> we so, make it look easy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. This section in particular, like this spot in Recharge the Shriek there. Yeah. Do um, other tricks. While you're me there, at some point the trick will fade out, and yeah, I crashed. Uh, the one, let's say, useful thing about uh, certain frames is that um, not like um, certain frames are walls, certain frames are ceilings, certain frames are floors, and if we land on ceilings or on ceilings or on on walls, even if the the tricks time out, we can still do the tricks on those frames to build, to replenish the the booster reserve. So that's the map is trolling me right. That you can the map is trolling me right now. <laughs> By the way, uh, fun fact: if you wanna see uh, how the first player completed this map, just look on YouTube uh, Torture Zone Mobra. <laughs> it's uh, a video by the uh, creator of the map, which is called Backgrounds, and it documents like the stream where the the, the, the first player that completed this map completed complete this map. Uh, obviously, it, do, it doesn't last 15 hours. It lasts like one hour or something. So if you want to look at it, you're free to. Okay. Like if you if like uh, seeing people getting tortured by the uh, <laughs> tortured by it, by the <laughs> authors of workshop maps. I'm not sure if. Oh wow. Wow. The Will Magnus is the, the Will Magnus is saved me there. I'm not sure. Uh, Praise the wheels. I'm still not over though. So moments of silence here. Need to pass this section. Do I have a, do I have enough boost? Yeah I do. Okay. Very Yes! Very nice, very nice. Last time for 45 minutes. We still got time. Minutes. We still got time to do some uh, swag stuff. That's true. Let's do this. There's a trick in this game, which is the most important trick of the run, and I can't leave with. No! What did they do? <laughs> no! No! I jinxed it. To do a silly trick. Okay, let's do this again. No problem. You're gonna watch it again. Yeah, I feel like a fool right now, but <laughs> I did it once, I can do it twice. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna see it twice. We still got time anyway. Like, you can see uh, the estimate is one hour and ten minutes. Uh, we still got time. But this time, if I get there, I'm gonna, not, gonna, not, not gonna restart on purpose. Because that's what I did there. I pressed the restart button because I don't know why. <laughs> okay, let's do this again. I just wanted to to repeat this section because you <laughs> love this track. You love this. I, uh, um, I mean, I like it to some degree, but uh, <laughs> I prefer not to do it. Okay, did that works too? Again, little bit of silence. Okay. 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 Easy peasy. <laughs> Let's just finish. Let's 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 just finish the map. <laughs> I don't want to do that anymore. And time.
beautiful run, Woo! beautiful run. <laughs> well, you got you got to see the final section twice. Um, yeah, let's go back to the main menu because I actually wanted to show you another thing, which is this beautiful main menu ba made by Pints of Chaos, which is uh, um, a um, map editor in distance, a uh, workshop map editor. And uh, he basically sent me this uh, uh, main menu like three or, four hour, three or four hours before the run. So shout outs to him for making this beautiful main menu, which is inspired to all the maps that you've seen before. Uh, I want to thank ESA Marathon to host the event and to let me stream uh, this showcase. I want to thank the Italian speedrun community, which is probably doing uh, uh, the rest stream of my run right now. So thank you, Italian speedrun community. Want to thank you. I want to thank you for Thanks, the commentary. Um, I want to thank Refract Studios, which is uh, the uh, studio that made this beautiful game. Uh, of course, you can play it normally. These maps are not meant for like casual players. So if you want to start easy, there's a lot of like a world of maps in this game that you can play. And want to thank the readers and the couch. That's all for me. So yeah, if you have anything else to say. Yeah, thank you so much, Bayonek, for this uh, fantastic run. We will be back shortly with Toxic 2, but before that, we'll just go to a short intermission, so don't go anywhere. Thank you so much. <laughs>